Hey, hi, Heather. Hello, Kobe. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Fantastic. I can't wait for us to be on the same time zone again. It's only one more week, right? One more week from today. Perfect. That's going to be awesome. Yes. Now, we, then we'll we, be back on for November <sighs> till November. Hopefully, and then not ever be different again if they oh, would. Whatever. <laughs> I know. Waiting for the government to do anything is stupid. You know, I've read that they actually just made um, Washington, D.C., like they voted on that in 2022 to make them their own state, the 52nd state. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I kind of thought they already were. I did, too, but I just looked it up, and they just voted on and made it official. Oh, okay. So if they're doing that, I mean, that doesn't seem that important. No. Like daylight savings is, I feel like, above that. I feel like they could really boost um, the confidence of the people just by getting rid of daylight savings time. You know, just that little thing of not having you to know, worry about losing yeah. or gaining that hour of sleep. Just, yeah, just give us something. Just, All right. You keep raising anything. our taxes. You keep taking more and taking more. Give us something. Like, that would be, I mean, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> So, hey, everyone, um, you are listening to Jether's Random Stuff, and I'm Jacoby. And I'm Heather. And together we make a Jether. Welcome. Yay. This is our, Cheers. this is our, oh, wait, let me get mine. Here we go. Yay. Cheers. <laughs> Click. Yay. This is our February podcast, even though it's getting released in March. Sorry so, about that. Yes. And just a reminder. Busy weekend last weekend. It was busy. Yeah. Well. Just a reminder that we're only podcasting once a month and we now have a theme themed mm -hmm. month. So um February's theme was new recipes. Yes. That was fun. I mean it I was took fun. that and just ran with it. Yeah. I loved it. <laughs> you made some really good stuff. Really good stuff. Some very easy stuff too, you guys. Really, really easy. I made sure I always sent Kobe the recipes and the step by steps for pretty much everything I did. Mm -hmm. And as a reminder, we um, we will have a TikTok also after this podcast to um, show you kind of what we were making. So yes, that commemorate our <laughs> February. Yay! Yes. Yes. If you missed it, January was um, self help and love, basically. Yes. Yes. And we spent the month pampering ourselves and mm -hmm. learning new skills. So you should definitely check that out if you didn't see it. There's yeah. a TikTok video also mm -hmm. for that. Yep. Yep. So go yeah. check that out. And um, yeah. So what's been going on down there, Heather? Mm. Tell me. Tell me something. Well, well, you know, um, the last time we podcast, I'm not sure if I had just figured it out or was, I figured it out afterwards, but the Super Bowl was here. Yes, like, it was. Right, <laughs> right here. It was. Yeah, it was, it was this huge deal down here. Like you, like all of us could go and hang out down there in front of where it was going to be. And they had like food trucks and crap to do. It was kind of fun. I didn't go, but um, <laughs> Heidi's husband did. Oh, did he? Yeah. Did he yeah. go to the game? Or did he just go? Um, no, he just went down there and did like the pre-festival stuff. He just a like, days before the game. like tailgated. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, basically, it was just a big tailgate party that was going 24-7 down at Scottsdale where this thing was at. So Nice, nice. I know. <laughs> so, but then, um, I, you know, Thor was scrolling through TikTok videos and stuff. And then he came across one and just busted up laughing and showed it to me. It was a girl, pretty young girl, probably in her mid-20s. And she was like, hey, everybody coming to the Phoenix area for the Super Bowl. Just thought I would give you guys a little bit of a heads up. And she's like, and now remember, don't shoot the messenger. I'm not being a bitch. I'm just being honest here, okay? So when you're, she's talking about driving in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people were driving in there from California. And you wouldn't think Californians would have an issue driving in Phoenix. Everybody has an issue driving mm -hmm. in Phoenix. Yeah. Anyway. So she was like, just to let you guys know, if you think you're going to get on that highway or freeway and go into the fast lane, that fast lane speed limit is a minimum of 85 to 95 miles per hour. And she not joking. 
If you do not yeah. go that speed in that fast lane, you will get balled over. It is, yeah, no joke. And then if you go over to the medium lane, like the second to the fastest lane, mm-hmm. that speed limit there is going to be 75 to 85 miles per hour. This, now, mind you, the speed limit on this highway is between 65 and 70. Mm-hmm. So the normal speed limit where you're not even going to get looked at as a co- by a cop are these speed limits I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. And this is what she was saying. And then she's like, now, if you're in the slow, slower lane, you, you could probably go, go the actual, you could actually go the no, speed limit. You still have no. to go. You got to okay. go over 10, okay. 10 miles minimum, usually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Five to 10. And then if you're in the slow That's lane, fun. you still mm-hmm. got to go about five miles over. Got to yeah. go the speed limit or five over. And she was basically just saying, if you don't do this crap, you are going to get pushed off the road pretty much. And that's what happens. Literally. Mm-hmm. I was laughing. Cause I was like, it's so true. I wonder how many people had an issue with that driving around down here. Cause it's a little, I, a widening. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. And we drove Seattle traffic for 14 years. Yeah. Well, and, and I. That's rough. When I was there, I guess I didn't notice it, but we didn't really go into Phoenix, I don't think. We were kind of on the outskirts, weren't we? We didn't really we go. We went to Mesa. Well, we went into Phoenix and we went to the zoo, but we had Thor behind the wheel. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> we weren't paying attention. When at Thor all. drives, I don't look. <laughs> so. No. It's, it's safer that way. Yeah. And for your, I mean, for your psyche, you know? Yeah, for sure. No one wants to have a heart attack <laughs> while you're driving. No, But no. he's really actually not as scary down here. That's in comparison <laughs> with comparison, everybody else. Everybody yeah. else is more scary. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You pretty much say a prayer every time you have to go through Phoenix to go anywhere. Yeah. Like I do every Wednesday when I had the band. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. And do you have one more concert or are you done? Nope. One more. One more. That is the week before you and Robin come. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. That is coming up, you guys. We're very excited. I'm so excited. I just finished watching um, the Mariner game because for spring training, they don't televise all the games. They usually do one a week and they did one today. So I watched it. That's exciting. Um, and they were How'd they do? They lost. Um mm. <laughs> but they were in Peoria and so I was like, I'm gonna be there in a couple weeks. So yeah, it's very yes. very I'm so excited. It's gonna be so fun. So, and we yeah. have our clothes ready to go. hmm Yes. I'm gonna we do. represent. Mm-hmm. Yep. They are gonna you're gonna try to be Diamondback fans, right? Yeah, we're gonna attempt. I don't even know one player's name. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. It's okay. But I'm going to, you know, give it a, oh, um, try. Yeah. Give it the old hey, Jetta try. Um, here's something exciting. Thor and I are the proud owner of season's tickets, the ASU girls basketball team. That's amazing. We how, are excited. How many games do no, they have? I don't know. I oh. think it's around 20, 20, yeah. 25. Okay. Yeah. 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 And it's only like 25 minute drive for us to get there. That's cool. That'll be fun. When does the season start? Yeah. Um, I think next, like, um, end of September, October. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And then it'll go through March. So, <laughs> yay. That's so, so I fun. know it's not your thing, but if you ever want to go, I know we could do it. I know. We have floor, we have floor seats pretty much. We're one row up from the floor. Wow. Well, if I happen right. to be there, then I could go. You could go. I could go. Since I'm making you go to a baseball game, <laughs> I'll go to a basketball game but with I you. Like, I like to go to baseball games. They're fun. I like to go to any, pretty much anything live I like to yeah, go to. Yeah, anything live is always so much more fun. I mean, NASCAR was a bit... But even mm-hmm. um, Thor said the last, the waste management thing. Mm-hmm. So he got to go to that, and that was off the hook. Crazy. That's a golf championship tournament it thing is. right it's a pga tour golf mm-hmm. championship golf course and um it's unlike any other one i don't i would imagine the golfers don't like this one like they don't look forward to it why it's loud um so it's not all quiet down on the sets at the waste management one in is, Phoenix. is it because everybody's drunk 
Everyone is drunk. <laughs> like this year, they made they had enough drunk people volunteer their beer cups. They were just the plastic Budweiser cups, you know, that they made a, um, I don't know what you're going to call it, but they kept putting the cups and you're locking the cups together. Yeah. And it went for so long. I went through the whole stadium, down into the grass, all the way out. <laughs> it oh was my insanely God. long. And they just kept, they kept just putting them on. And I mean, okay. it's like a mosh pit, a party. You, there is no quiet. People are like putting. They're screaming and yelling. They so are, it's like they can, um, Happy Gilmore yeah. golfing. <laughs> Hell yeah! Except there's no Happy Gilmore. Oh to cheer my for. gosh! Yeah. Fun. Um, the last two years, there's been a streaker. Nice. Okay. Yeah. This year's streaker came out and did a little thing with the pole. He was in tidy whities so once. Totally. Oh, naked. Okay. Well. And then was able to actually. Um, like dodge the security people but on the other hand are the security people trying that hard do I mean, you who wants to tackle the naked nobody guy nobody wants to tackle who a naked guy to be that guy they, they're on video like guys know? don't want to accidentally touch another guy's privates they don't well, plus it's on video what if you yeah. get like in a compromised position when you do the tackle yeah nobody wants yeah. it i wouldn't want to yes. do that yeah so he ended up like diving into one of the little ponds <laughs> and that's where they had to come get him out at <laughs> oh. so yeah thor went this year i think i'm gonna go next year yeah that'll be fun yeah it's just and then hole 16 is where the party's at i guess okay it's where you have to try to get to is hole 16 okay damn yeah I know. And that's in February every year. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So if we're, you ever want to go to a PGA thing, I think that's the one you should February. go to because mm-hmm. it sounds really fun. Like I mean, party. we can drink on there. We can yell. You can boo the golfers. If they like Ooh. put it into the water, you actually boo them. And that's <laughs> fun. Uh huh. One year, Thor, the first year Thor went, they say he was said they even threw stuff at the golfers. Oh my God. <laughs> Up. that's our kind of golfing like that's how we golf you know because mm-hmm. when we golf there's we play by jether rules and the jether rules yeah. are it's a hole in one every time if it, and if mm-hmm. i want to pick up my ball and throw it i will and you better just yes. shut your mouth because that's how we golf it's how it goes yeah we get to golf while you're here too so yeah we're going to a game mm-hmm then we're going to go to um, Top Golf, which is mm-hmm. also on the bucket list. Mm-hmm. So we're doing that. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Um, I think we're going to do an awesome, I think we're going to do it like a combination chill day. And then later on that night, go to this awesome bar. Mm-hmm. We're going to ride bowls and line dance yep. and eat Texan food mm-hmm. and drink. Texas barbecue. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. And then we have one day we still have to plan. Yes. We don't know quite yet what we're doing. We're throwing around a few options. There's so many choices, so we'll have to narrow it down. Yeah, we will. But, yeah. We will. So, what... Recipes! What did you make? I think you made more recipes than I did. I might have. So, you... So, I remember I started off with... So... You go first. You go first, and then we'll switch. I don't have my phone, unfortunately, so you might have to help me out (laughs) here. Okay, so... It all started with um, the, you know, at Costco, you can get the big cocktail shrimp, big container of cocktail shrimp with the, cause I've heard how good they are, but there's only two of us. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't matter how much you like shrimp. You can't get through that thing like that. It's yeah. like maybe two days, two servings, you know, max. Yeah. So there was a lot of this shit left over and I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to throw it away. So then I just kind of looked for a recipe and I was like, oh, I'm going to make a stew. Mm-hmm. So I made a stew. So that was my first one. It was a potato. Um, it, well, I'm calling it a stew. They called it a chowder, but I changed it so much mm-hmm. that I think it's pretty much a stew. Yeah. 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 Because I put, I think I put carrots, broccoli, potato, shrimp, and then it had a bunch of other, you know, seasoning because I had to make my own um, broth. Like I think it was out of cream cheese, obviously my cream cheese. Mm-hmm. And then I don't remember what else went in there. But I, I sent the recipe. Yes, you did. You said it was good. Oh, it was very, very good. Very, very good. But the second one I did with shrimp was even better. That mm-hmm. one I used cooked shrimp with, so it was easier. But I made a, from scratch, um, honey, garlic, marinade. And I remember there was like a half cup of honey in there, a quarter cup of soy sauce, 
and then you had like um, red pepper flakes two heaping tablespoons of minced garlic mm. i mean it, i thought it was almost too much minced garlic but then it had some other seasonings i can't remember off the top of my head but they weren't amounting to much i think it was cumin and something else yeah but it was bomb like i could have just put that in a wine glass and drank that marinade that's i think you could put that marinade on anything and it would be just yeah. good it was so good so then you threw the shrimp into a little bit of the marinade like a quarter cup of the marinade you just so they yeah can, you know marinade yeah yes <laughs> yes so they can get to know each other a little better so that's for a half an hour <laughs> yep <laughs> And then after that, you toss that in there with a little bit more of the marinade and you throw the um, broccoli in there and toss it all together and then eventually throw the rest of the marinade in there. And I think there was some garlic, like, I don't remember. There was something I had to add to that. Mm, something. Anyway, and then I just served it over brown rice and it was bomb. It looked so good and then it tasted even better. Nice. Nice. And then, it sounds well, that delicious. My, oh, Third one was the pot pie. Super easy, guys. Uh -huh. So, so easy. Easier for everybody else than me because you don't have to find the gluten-free pie crust, which is very hard <laughs> to do when it's not Thanksgiving. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I did find one at Sprouts. It was a two-pack. And then you need a thing of crescent rolls, and that also can be difficult for me, but I found some other organic ones. Um, I actually used Annie's, but I did find some other ones because I know I can't find Annie's anymore, but oh. I did have one of those. So then you just grab, I had leftover chicken from a different um, recipe. So again, it was leftover meat for this guy. So I just threw in, um, first it was a, um, a can of cream of chicken soup. Then I threw some vegetables. They said you could actually just do a um, frozen bag of vegetables, like yeah. carrots, peas. That's what all the other people are doing. I didn't want to do that because I want potatoes in mine. So I put potatoes, carrots, and broccoli in mine. Nice. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I threw on top of that. And then I threw the chicken in, stirred it all together. And then you just get the crescent rolls out and you just kind of layer them yeah. over each other until you make the full pie crust. And the thing I forgot to do is you're supposed to do an egg wash and then do that on the very top of the oh, pie crust. the egg wash. And I forgot yeah. to do that. That's okay. That's okay. It still turned out really good. It yeah. was delicious. And it was a five minute prep. It was so fast. Mm -hmm. Yes. I would recommend it. Um, the last one was also extremely simple. So this was a Costco sample um, mutation. Yes. <laughs> so we were at Costco and they were serving up um, some chicken salad, but all they were doing was mixing the sauce with a can, the canned chicken from Costco and then heating it up in the microwave and putting it on a hamburger bun. But I tried the chicken and it was delicious. What like, was the really, sauce? It's a buffalo sauce. It's mm. just a buffalo sauce that they serve there, or they it's their brand, I think. Um, zero calories in it, which is fantastic. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's what it said, zero calories. So when we got home, we put that in with a little bit of mayonnaise, but I use that olive oil mayonnaise, so mm -hmm. that doesn't have very many calories in. And we put that, mixed it in with the chicken. And then instead of heating that up, we put it on some whole wheat, we buttered up some whole wheat bread and put some Swiss cheese, because I can have Swiss cheese, mm -hmm. and um, put the, slap some of that chicken salad on there and grilled it up for grilled cheese damn and that that was and it was delicious you guys it was so good we served it with a broccoli cheddar soup nice it was really 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 good really good and then i used the leftover and i did a wrap the other uh, a couple days later did you? <laughs> yep, heat it up and i i wish i would have grilled it probably would have been a little better but it was still delicious nice so recommend that so i think i don't think any of my meals were hard at all guys. didn't you so also make some it? kind of pizza pasta I did. I just made that the last day. Oh my God. And that was, that was bomb. That looks so bomb. good. It looks so um, good. Just crock pot, you guys. So I browned up some turkey burger, um, did some pot. I just think I did, well, not rigatoni, pen. I did pen pasta. Mm -hmm. Mine was whole wheat. Um, so did those, you know, and then I added some pasta sauce. For some reason I couldn't find pizza sauce. Really? So the recipe calls for pizza sauce, but you can use pasta sauce too. It says mm -hmm. you can sub it. So I ended up using, um, I did a sausage, um, garlic one, and then a, just a plain garlic one. Mm. Um, so I did two different sauces. So 
So anyway, so you dump a whole sauce in with your um, turkey burger, or you guys can use sausage if you want that, or mm -hmm. hamburger. So you got lots of choices, you know. So dump that in there, put that all together. When your pasta is done, put that in there and have that all kind of go together. Then you're going to layer in a crock pot. That's how I did it. Um, you're going to put a whole jar of pasta sauce on the bottom of the crock pot. Then you're going to put half of your meat and pasta mixture on there. Then you're going to layer it with some mozzarella cheese. So for me, it was two day uh, packs of shreds. Mm -hmm. So one day of shre shreds down. Then you put the pepperoni on the top, kind of covering up all the cheese. Then you're going to do the same mixture again, minus more pasta sauce. So nice. you're not going to dump more pasta sauce in. So you're going to do more of the noodle meat mixture with the mozzarella and then with the pepperoni. And then you're going to bake that. Now their recipe said I would only have to bake it for an hour to two hours on low until everything melted. Well, it took like two hours. It took like two hours past that. Really? So we did actually. Yeah, it took like four hours. So we actually didn't eat that until the next day. <laughs> Yeah, because it was like seven thirty at night when it got done, so <laughs> we had to eat something else. But I still yeah. made that on the last day of February, so it did count. Nice, nice. And I would recommend it. We ended up feeding um, another family with it. Nice. It looked yeah. really good. It looked so. It was yummy. So easy. So yeah. easy. Everything I made. So I made five things, and all five were super easy. I would say the stew was probably the most intricate I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think anything else was hard that I did. Okay. Nice. Dang. You did a lot. <laughs> I tried. I tried. <laughs> I wanted to do the egg roll in a bowl, but I am, I got all the stuff. I'm waiting for the um, chili sauce to come because I couldn't find it in a store down here. So I had to yeah. order it off of Amazon. So I so, made the yeah. egg roll in a bowl. Um, it, you're supposed to have chili garlic sauce, which was sold out at Safeway, sold out at Fred Meyer. Couldn't find it. So yeah, I didn't get it off Amazon. I bought just, well, it said chili garlic sauce. I just bought, mm -hmm. I found something just called chili sauce. And okay. then I put garlic in it. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. That was amazing. Um, so the egg roll in a bowl is just like, it said Asian slaw. But I just use a coleslaw mix, you know, just with just yeah. has the cabbage and stuff. Yeah. And then I bought ground, you buy ground pork and just fry it up mm -hmm. and put it in with the coleslaw mix. And then you make a sauce. That's the chili garlic sauce, soy sauce, um, mm -hmm. sesame oil. And then I can't remember. Oh, the, the Chinese five spice. Yes. Yes. Um, and some garlic and I think there was something else that I can't remember but you mix that it's like a dressing and you just mix green it up green onions green onions yes throw those in <laughs> and then you just mix that up and pour it over like a dressing and then toss it and just eat it and it was so good so good mm -hmm. yeah and it was it was pretty easy too I mean yeah. it sounds easy I mean yeah I didn't make it because I couldn't find Asian slaw <laughs> and the chili sauce because I had to order that on yeah, you know, I just did that one. Oh, sesame oil. That was the other part in there. Yes. I think. Right. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I can almost make it because this um, chili garlic sauce is coming tomorrow. Oh, good. Good, good, good. It yeah. was supposed to come today, but it still got delayed. Oh, stuff always gets delayed. I know. Gosh, um, that sounds delicious. It was so good. So I made that and then I made. You made that pasta that looks so good. Um, Which pasta? You sent me a picture of it on Messenger. Did I? I said it was so good. <laughs> Fuck, what was it? Well, I know I made the uh, Caribbean. No, it was jerk chicken with Caribbean salsa, yes. Yes. which the which I did in the instant pot. So I put the chicken in there with um, uh, Caribbean jerk seasoning, and then you put some like orange juice and lime juice and stuff in there as your as your like liquid and then I just cooked it in the instant pot which cooks really fast and it kind of infuses the flavor a little bit yeah and then the salsa um your it was like a mango salsa um which it it was really good it was like mangoes with um red onions and so fresh cilantro and um 
green. I can't remember now. But anyways, it... The only problem with that is that I couldn't find a fresh mango at the store. They didn't have fresh ones. So I got canned mango and it was so mushy that the salsa yeah. ended up being like really sloppy. And so, but it tasted really good. Yeah, so, it yeah. It sounds so good. And so I just put that into a taco. I just put it in a taco shell with the, ch- you shred the chicken up and then put that in with the salsa. And it was actually really good. It had avocados in it too. So it was, it was pretty Very tasty. Nice. Yeah, that was good. And then I did do the deviled egg cupcakes. And how they turn out? You did them smaller. Than I the did. Ones, right? Yeah, because the video you had were the big ones. The ones I had were like the little um, mini muffin cups that I use. So the deviled yes. egg cupcakes. What you're supposed to do is you separate the eggs. You beat the whites up a little bit, put them in the muffin cups and bake them. But then the yolks you put in a separate pan and you also bake the yolks, which I did. So then you have these little whites. And then you take the yolks and you put them in the blender with like the rest of the ingredients for deviled eggs, like the mayonnaise, the mustard, the vinegar, Mm -hmm. salt, pepper, whatever, and blend it up. So I did it. The problem was the egg yolks didn't like even, and I use my Ninja, which usually chops stuff up really good. It never got like that smooth texture oh like frosting yeah it was more it was kind of chunky and so so it tasted like a deviled egg but the texture was weird yeah yeah it was kind of like oh it tastes like it's chunks I don't know it was it just was kind of weird (laughs) sounds like it so I probably would not do those again um just because it was kind of off go back to the old way yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, this it's okay. you know that it's, it's always good. nice to try. You try, you, never you know? know. I thought maybe it would be easier. It was the same amount of work, really, to yeah. do it. So, um, yeah. Anyways, so that was mm, kind yeah, of a fail, but you know, yeah. yeah. It doesn't sound like you failed. It just you didn't like the recipe. I just yeah. It. I mean, it tasted yeah. fine. Just the texture. I couldn't get past it, so I would probably not do it again. But anyhow. Yeah. Is that all the, right. Did I do another? I think that's all I did. No, I you sent me one. What did I send you? It wasn't you? the jerk chicken. Well, was it in Messenger? <laughs> it was in Messenger. It was just to me. So just go in there and okay. go to the first picture and start swiping and you'll find yours. Okay. Hold on. You have to get through all of my pictures, but you did send me one. You okay. made one other dish. It was delicious. Oh, you yours said. looks like all of yours look so good. I'm looking through all your pictures right now. <laughs> the grilled cheese. Oh, the pot pie. It looks so good. Mm. Uh, what am I better with the egg wash? I, but I'll remember oh. it next time. I'm going to make that one again. Yeah. What was that one? You remember now. Oh, oh, yes. I remember yeah, now. <laughs> see, I knew you made another one. So it was the penne pasta. See, I knew you I cook, pasta. but you cook chicken in the crock pot and okay. you put in a jar of Parmesan garlic dressing from Buffalo Wild Wings. And you can, how do you find that? We found it at Costco, but I also saw it at Walmart. So I know that they have it in stores. Wow. But that's our favorite sauce when we go to Buffalo Wild Wings. So you pour it a jar of this parmesan garlic sauce you throw in a a brick of cream cheese uh-huh and then you're so, with the chicken with the chicken and then you're also supposed to put in milk i used um almond milk <laughs> yeah which was fine yeah and you just cook it and then you shred the chicken up and then you mix it up with the penne pasta and then you put a little parmesan on the top of it and that was so good it was so delicious that sounds delicious yeah it was very very good send me that recipe okay i will it was yeah, i'm gonna want that one it was so I don't good have to send you any of mine because i already sent them all you to did you. you always sent them to me so yeah i've been downloading yes. them so i can make our tiktok later yeah but yeah yeah that was was my favorite absolutely oh that looks so good i was yeah. a little jelly of that one i was like okay yeah, yeah i'm gonna have to get that one <laughs> that was a but, that was the one i saw on tiktok so yes 
this month, you guys, we will be doing so, um, organization. Mm -hmm. So and that's probably about all I'm going to say about that because we're not giving you a preview on what we're doing. No. You have to tune in next month to know how we organized and what we organized. Yeah, it's uh, it, you know, that's going to be it interesting. Out okay. <laughs> There's so many things that I want to organize in my house. So, well, I have like I have two big things I'm doing. Two big things. I'm not actually no. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, I did. I will tell you this though. I did um, take care of something yesterday that was been annoying me, but it it was unavoidable because yeah. I um, got some more chickens. Yeah. So, so you needed to tell everybody about these chicks. Yeah. So he's in the chicks again. I love my chickens. So last year I bought, I got three chicks of those three. One, I have one left um, because the other two passed on. Um, yes. And I have one chicken that we got from a friend of ours who caught it. It was like a live or like a wild chicken <laughs> that her dogs cornered. And so now that's my chicken. Um, and she doesn't have a name. We just call her other chicken. <laughs> we should, wait, wait, we should change that. I tried to name her, but I just keep calling her other chicken. Like I let them out today. So my brother built me a huge, not huge, but like a big chicken coop yeah. besides yeah. because we had a small one. So he built a bigger one for me. And so I let them out today and they're very good about coming back at night. But Petra, yeah. Petra, my original chicken, she will come to yes. the back door and peck on the back door and I'll open it. And she likes to look in the house and see what's going on. And she likes me to pet her and stuff like that. The other chicken, no. So I'm always saying, Petra, where's your friend? Where's other chicken? <laughs> Where's she at? You know, you, you can call her OC for I other could. Chicken. I could call her the OC. The so OC. we got more chickens this year. So I went and got four more. So Petra is a black Hexlink chicken, which is a really good, sturdy, like hardy breed chicken that's also very friendly, you know. So these are also sex link chickens, but they're um, brown or they're supposed to be brown. They're kind of yellow right now. So we got them there ba as babies and I had them in a plastic tote in a spare room in my house for the last three weeks. And they grow really, really fast. So... Yeah that room started to really smell like chicken <laughs> like live chicken which is not yes. not a great smell and not a smell that you want in your house so um i cleaned out the old coop um that's still outside and got it all ready for them and i moved them out yesterday because they now have Almost all their feathers, their heads still have the fuzz, but basically the rest of their body yeah. has feathers, which is when you can kind of move them outside. Um, but I did yeah. put their little heating pad out there and got their, you know, all their stuff set up. And so now they're outside. So I've been checking on them, you yeah. know, since yesterday Are you doing good? and they seem to be doing okay. And then <laughs> last night I went to check on them as it was getting dark and they were in the, cause the chicken coop has two levels. And they were at the bottom while well, the yeah. heating pads on the top because it's kind of closed in from the wind and stuff. And I'm like, you guys need to go yeah. upstairs because that's where the heating pad is. And you're going to be warm. They're like huddled together at the bottom, like go upstairs. That's where the heat is. So I was literally picking them up and shoving them upstairs into the thing. And they kept trying to come out. So I had, like shoved them all in there and I put my hands up so they couldn't come back out. <laughs> I'm like, stay up there. That's where it's warm. Like, you know, and I came back in and I was telling Megan, I'm like, they're so dumb. Like, why won't they stay up there where it's warm? I don't understand. And she's like, mom, <laughs> it's instinct. They'll go up there if it gets cold. I'm like, I don't know if they will. Like, I don't know how smart they are. Like, maybe they'll, I don't know. <laughs> You're just trying to avoid coming out to four dead chicks. I do not want to come chicks. out to four dead chicks because like every day no. I would go check on them for the last three weeks. I'm like, oh, yay. They're all four still alive. Woohoo. Like major accomplishment. So <laughs> how do you, when will you know if they're all chickens or if you have a rooster? Um, I'm pretty sure they are. You can tell um, if you hold out one of their wings. 
Uh, uh-huh. Chick wings will be scalloped. Rooster wings will be straight across. So if you just hold out one of their okay. wings, you can tell if it's going to be a chicken or a rooster. So we always look. Well, that's kind of good to know. Yeah. Because if you ever got a rooster, you would just, you know, start handling that one the most. So it's a nice rooster. If I had a rooster, I wouldn't have it for very long. <laughs> I don't want a rooster. You find a good home for it, right? You I would give it to some, whoever wanted it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that didn't hopefully want to eat it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't think we have one, though. <sighs> so. Well, awesome. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, so we will get to work um, getting organized for March. And. Um, yeah. yeah, we'll be organized for our next podcast. Yep. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so if anybody has any recipes you want us to try, you can send them to mm-hmm. us. You can email them to us at jethersrandomstuff at yahoo.com and we will try them. Or if you yep. would like a recipe that we mentioned, we can send it to you. Just let us know. Um, and yeah, I think that's it until next month. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in. Yes. And everybody have a great, have a March. great March. All right. Bye. Okay. Bye.